What's up, YouTube? You're looking at a bucket full of discus. Uh, I just took them out of the tank. There's also my Rio Tapa hose, Rio Fagus, and my Cupid Cichlid in here. And they are about to get taken to the market and sold because I'm moving back to America in a couple days. I was gonna try to film them in the tank, but they were just like, they were hiding because they were freaked out because I was taking the wood out and stuff. And this morning they wouldn't come out for filming either, so. I'm gonna throw in a bunch of clips I filmed recently to show the buyer what I was offering after this little clip so that you guys can see what they look like in all their glory. And then, uh, I'm gonna take them to the market and sell them on. So stay tuned if you want to see. I'm at the market waiting for this dude to come and open the shop for me. Should be here in a minute. So thought I'd show you guys these goldfish while I'm standing here. Got Arandas and uh, Ryukin, Veiltail, Ryukins. This tank is just ridiculous. I would guess that's like a 40 gallon tank with how many goldfish are in there. I mean, it's got a constant water change going on, but. That's harsh. So this is the shop I'm selling them to. They're gonna go in that tank right there with all the, what do they even have in there? Congo tetras, rainbow fish, roseline sharks, uh, cardinal tetras, Romino's tetras. I don't know, there's a bunch of fish in there. That's, that's where they're gonna end up, I think. So, see if we can see them a little better in here, in this lighting. Oh, that water is gross. They've been in there for a little while, because this guy's running late. Alright, I think that's it for now. I'll probably try to film a little bit of putting them in. If it's not possible, I'll just take a couple of shots after they're in the tank. So, we'll do that next. Alright guys, we got the fish with the air stone. We're getting this tank ready. You can see this heater's going like crazy to get the temperature up. And then they're going to have this tank to themselves. He doesn't want to put them in here because he's worried they're going to eat all the cardinal tetras, which honestly that's probably true. So, especially this, this tiny ones. So they're gonna have this little tank to themselves down here. And I'm gonna say goodbye to my big beautiful fish. This guy right here is super huge. I'm super proud of him, big red. It's probably like six, six and a half inches from front to back, top to bottom, whatever. He's almost perfectly round, great color. The others are okay, but he's like the champion. And then this, this uh, Geophagus is also really nice looking. Anyway, I'm freaking them out by like crouching them over like that. Crouching over them like that, so. I think that's it for now. I might actually head out before he puts them in the tank. 
because uh, I got some other stuff to do today. So, say goodbye to the discus. Hope you guys enjoyed them. Alright guys, there's the discus. Say goodbye. <laughs> Alright guys, this is my last time at this market. I just saw these on the way out. To show you guys these crazy, I think they're mollies. Super cool looking. Look at these sword tails. These are insane. Look at that red and those tails and those fins. That's its dorsal fin, dude, hanging over the, the back and like hanging down below its stomach. Those are like the best sword tails I've ever seen, I think, as far as color and finish goes. It's just crazy. Over here, they got this big old arowana. You can't really see it very well. A bunch more arowanas and like paku and stuff. There's a little arowana. Stingrays. Datnoids. I forget what these things are called. Someone told me before. I thought they were uh, vampire tetras, but they're not. There's some saltwater fish or like salt freshwater fish. I'll have to find the name and edit it into the video. Anyway, that's the last time I'm going to be recording at this market because I'm leaving the country. So, thanks for watching guys. And if you like the videos, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. We are going to have more fish content in the future. Uh, once I get back to the States, I'm definitely going to stay in the hobby. I'll be setting up new tanks and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for more. See you guys later.